What up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, I've been trying my best to figure out how to bring y'all um, uh, music videos because, well, uh, outside of Patreon, because I want to take you to the Patreon so you can get the full reaction to the actual full video. But I've been looking at a couple YouTubers, and I'm going to try it this way um, so I can provide y'all all this exclusive content, but it's going to be exclusive, exclusive on Patreon. Just tap in, girl. It ain't nothing but about 12 cents a day uh, during the month because it's $5 for the month. If you ain't got $5 for the month, Jesus, what do you want me to do? Okay? I got Crazy in Love over there. Um, we reacted to uh, Blueface, House of Blues. We got Roly, mm, Transformer Roly over there. It was disgusting, but I, I, I got through it. All right. Everything that y'all want me to watch, baby, it's over there on Patreon. Y'all be mad at me. You ain't on Patreon. What you want me to do? You know what I'm saying? So I need y'all to tap into that. Now, we about to get into this video because we got to talk about Quavo eating a glizzy, all right, <laughs> which is stupid. I think the whole glizzy thing is stupid. It's a hot dog. Get it together. Uh, but Quavo, um, diss track on Chris Brown, Chris Brown, Chris Brown's diss track on Quavo, okay? Now, while I'm reacting to this video, I'm going to go through uh, the music and listen to it specifically because it's some of them, some things I want to say, and I need to line it up with the damn video. Okay. Uh, but before we get into this, I want y'all to know, I appreciate y'all for tuning in the way you tune in. Cause y'all could be anywhere else with you here with me. All right. So I appreciate y'all for that. And, uh, yeah, let's get into it. I got some things I want to say. Now, first of all, I want to talk about the apology. Chris, I don't want to beef with you, bro. I don't want a problem with you. And then the, the, the nigga said, please, bro. Like, what are we talking about here? <laughs> Why is it to the point where you got to plead that you don't want any smoke with the nigga, but then you come back with diss tracks as if you want to smoke with him in the first place? That's number one. Number two, why would you date Karuchi? I'm saying why would you date Karuchi because... Chris, everybody knows Chris Brown is very much so territorial over Karuchi and any woman he has ever had. He just, Rihanna, he had to let her go. But Karuchi is one of the main ones that if anybody, if I can't have you, nobody can have you. You get what I'm saying? So with that being said, I'm just not understanding why he's begging and pleading to not have any beef with uh, Chris right now. And he responded back. I just feel like he should have kept it at that instead of coming out doing a diss track or saying anything. And he probably should have left Karuchi alone. Yeah, that's where I'm at with that. That nigga Chris Brown called Quavo a B with dreads. Okay? He called him a stud. That would have pissed me off. I don't get offended by the B word. I, I could care less. But that would have pissed me off, Okay. That's number one. Number two, the co the the uh, hook. I love the hook. Who won't smoke with me? Who won't smoke with me? He went crazy. You you know when he came on there, he hit a blunt or two right quick and said, "Cut the music on. Cut it on. Okay, <laughs> cut it on. Cut it up. Leave me alone. I'm gonna say what I want." And that's what he did. Then he comes out and alludes to saying that he did the do with. Sweetie. Now, listen, I, I'm not going to lie. I feel as though Megan Thee Stallion and Sweetie have made their rounds around the industry. Hold on. Let me not leave out Lori Harvey. But I, I am also a firm believer of if I want to do it, I am. I did. It's mine. I do what I want. Okay? So as far as Sweetie dating uh, Quavo going to YG, uh, smashing Chris. Now, while they was together is crazy. <laughs> I feel like Sweetie was like, you know what? The opportunity is presenting itself, so we about to do it. Do you hear me? We about to do it, okay? And I think that she just took the opportunity. Now, do I blame her? No. I feel like them niggas be cheating too, so you might as well cheat. You know Quavo would cheat. Come on now. Quavo was cheating, Chris B cheating, everybody cheating. I don't put it past no man anyway, okay? So an industry man, definitely. I would have did it too, uh, sweetie. They said revenge is sweet. Don't let that line go over your head. Bruh. 
Don't let that line go over your head. And the nigga said, I might just make a song about that shit. He's saying he going to make a love song about smashing on Sweetie. And we only know it's Sweetie because he told us don't let that line go over our head. If it went over your head, that's on you, friend. But he definitely confirmed. Do you understand what I'm saying? That he smashed Sweetie. Okay. He got some tea about it, but he ain't going to speak about it. Chris, you done already told. Like, look, the baby saying that he smashed Megan Thee Stallion. Why? Why? All the booty that y'all be getting, right? All the booty y'all be tapping on. Why must we snitch on the women in the industry, okay? If y'all got a little booty, that's fine. If you got a little booty, that's fine. <laughs> we don't have to know, okay? Talk about he ain't going to drop the tea, basically. You already did that. The tea, the mic, the D, just dropped everything. I put Amigo on a ventilator? Chris. That's just, God, he went deep. Just, he went low, okay? He went lower than low can go, Okay? Ooh, mm. Ain't no rules in in in, in Yo, last album was a re a weed trade. That's some bull ish. We be rolling on. Damn. <laughs> you call my last album a weed trade? He didn't even call it a pack, baby. The tray? <laughs> so rude. Quavo, I didn't wish that was you. <laughs> Chris Brown said, when, when Takeoff died, we really wish that that was you instead? Oh, my God. Y'all, them fighting words, them brawling words, them I'm about to come to your house and shoot you words, them if I see you outside, I'm going to take you out of here words. Them is like... Boy, I swear to bitch. <laughs> Them some words that you just kind of don't say. But see, he don't care. He said it. He meant it. And here we are. Bring real beef to the dinner table. My, my mental health ain't never stable, Chris. You better talk about it. I think all of us dealing with some instability over here. Unstability, unstable, incapable. We all going through it over here. Mental ain't never stable was a word. <laughs> I felt it. Okay. I'll run your ass through the ring of nigga. You just got bodied by a singer nigga. Damn. Who won't smoke with me? Listen, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. 10 out of 10, I recommend. I just want to say this, though. I think the men, and not these two, I want to speak about... Drake, all them. I'm trying to get into everything. You know what? I'm going to say that for another time. I will say this, though. That's real beef. I don't think they plan. I don't think that this is a joke. I think that they dead ass serious. Okay? And quite frankly, this ain't safe. When you bring up the dead, knowing that he just, he just was unalive. I'm talking about recently. Nah, this is a little more serious than than what people making it out to be. You know what I'm saying? And quite frankly, uh, I wish he didn't say it. But here we are. Here we are. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this. We about to get into the next diss track.